Hi, welcome to day 42 of my 121 day journey. That's 121days.com, part of masteries.com. Now, today I want to talk to you about which foods you should eliminate if you're doing a paleo style diet. Because paleo is in its own way, it has its own rules, and it has its own um, ideas around what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat. And it really is around the Paleolithic era and what was available at that time and what wasn't. So, what you shouldn't eat are things like, uh, for example, in the dairy category, cheese, milk, yogurt, cream, evaporated milk, sour cream, and butter. So, you know, that is something that if you enjoy those foods and if you're doing a high-fat, low-carb style of diet, these ones uh, would not be on the menu for you if you follow paleo, okay? I would find a little challenge <laughs> for myself. Only the reason that I like cheese, sour cream, and butter. Those are key components for me in order to make my meals a little more flavorful when I'm doing a high-fat, low-carb style of diet. So that would be something that would be a little more challenging for me, but it might be worth it. Who knows? Um, grains. So, you know, you're pretty much eliminating your grains, which are corn. Something I always recommend. Try not to get any of those corn products in your diet. Whole wheat, wheat flour, spelt. You know, rice and oats, uh, barley and rye, um, and even quinoa, okay? So that's something that wasn't typically around. That's something you wouldn't eat during the paleo diet. Uh, legumes, so things like peanuts, peanut butter, um, soy and soy sauce, tofu, miso, edamame, tempeh, any beans, whether it's black, pinto, um, garbanzo, or lentils, any of those you wouldn't eat. Also, um, alcohol, so beer and sake and grain vodka, um, no whiskey, bourbon, scotch, or gin. So, you're, uh, you know, if you're following a high fat, low carb diet now, this might really sound like, whoa, <laughs> this is really strict. Um, oils, so things like vegetable oil, partially hydrog hydrogenated oil, so be soybean oil, co co <laughs> canola oil, I'm having a hard time with these oils here, cottonseed, corn, margarine, shortening, and peanut oil. Typically not things that I would eat anyway, uh, but those are the types of oils that you would exclude. And then sweeteners, yeah, pretty much uh, any diet, um, you're gonna have to remove the sweet stuff because sugar is the one of the major causes for weight gain. Uh, corn syrup, corn sugar, malt syrup, aspartame, sucralose, equal, and sweet and low. Those all play around with your hormones in not a good way. Uh, so definitely eliminate those. So that's just an insight as to what to avoid while you are on a paleo diet, should you wish to pursue that. Um, paleo is very strict, works very well. I've had friends that use it. I've never truly followed a paleo diet before. Um, I always thought it might be a little bit challenging for me based on the style and the, the palate that I have for foods. However, I've had friends that have used it um, together with CrossFit and they just killed it they were so good it was really they stripped the fat off so quickly it was unreal i was like wow that's amazing so it can work it can work very well you just have to make sure that you have that focus you have that mindset and that goal set for you and that you can follow that and make sure that you can achieve uh, day in day out success to make sure that you're doing um you're following that program and doing what it requires so that's the insight I'd like to thank you, and uh, tomorrow, I think it's a check-in day for me, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow, and thanks a lot for coming. If you have any questions, go on to Dear Masteries, or excuse me, go on to masteries.com, um, you know, or 121days.com, and uh, you can check out, there's all kinds of great stuff there, um, as well as different offerings if you want to learn more. If you want to learn about the weight loss octagon, what I'm going through right now, um, we'll get to see my results here shortly at another week that I've been uh, doing this. And I'm really doing really well. I'm really uh, impressed by the results. Uh, I am starting to feel a little bit of the effects of the low carb diet where I don't have the extra energy that I usually would have when it comes to training and things like that. So I am looking forward to a uh, little 
uh, going out of the lean, going in strong, and then flipping over here to uh, the other side to really feel the difference because I've never done it in a way that I flipped sides before. Um, I've always traditionally done uh, one style and then flip back into a standard system and then flip back into something else. So I'm curious to how this is going to work. Uh, you know, it can work very well. And I'm going to show you what those results are day by day here on 121days.com. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.